Welcome, folks, to Streaming Church TV. This is our live video blog. My name is Phil Thompson. I am the uh, executive director of Streaming Church TV. And uh, with me today is our president and founder, Steve Lacey. Steve, how are you? All right. Doing good this morning. Good. Well, it's good to have you here. And uh, we uh, normally do this uh, in a live setting, and uh, we're actually over here at our our local church, uh, just setting up a little camera and doing some streaming. Uh, if you join us live here, you're welcome to ask us some questions just through the chat platform here. And then uh, later on, we archive this, and you can always go to streamingchurch.tv and look at some of our archives. We, we talk about a variety of different subjects, and it's pretty much, most of the time, it's relating to streaming, although we are both heavily involved in our local church here uh, and doing lots of different things and been around for a number of years doing multiple tasks from audio video stuff to children's ministry to greeting to financial boards to the whole to, bit um, uh, yeah setting up tearing down <laughs> yeah i've been a senior pastor for a number of years as well uh so uh today though we're going to talk about web pastoring and a web pastor and i want to we t we've talked a lot about a web host and we've talked a lot about you know those different functions, but I want to come from a different angle today because uh, uh, there's lots of different streaming companies out there. Most of them offer just video only. However, we were one of the first to offer uh, video plus chat, so you could be interactive and you could do a lot more than just watch a video. There, you could uh, you could chat with people watching. You could, uh, and if you're on the other side of the coin as a church as a church. Uh, uh, church that is streaming, you can put different links on there and, and the platform. And so that's what we've done over the, over the years here. However, today we want to talk about a web pastor. And uh, I'm going to let Steve uh, ask me some questions because mm -hmm. I am the, my technical uh, position here at Alive Church is digital missions pastor. And I'll tell you a little bit of why that title is what it is in a moment. But. So how, what, let's start off with, um, how would you, what is a web pastor? Well, that's a loaded question because for different people it means different things. Uh, we, at, at, at my local church, have defined a web pastor who is somebody that actually takes some ownership and responsibility over the streaming platform and the, and the, the whole streaming ministry, so to speak. Different churches have different ideas. We actually, at a live church, we have a web host, uh, and web hosts, plural, but most of the time we have a, a, a great guy who's uh, actually out of Ohio. We're in Arizona. Uh, his name is Don Young. He's our web host. But I am the web pastor or church online pastor is another title for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, you mentioned um, take ownership. What, what, what do you mean by taking ownership of? Well, we see, you have to understand, and I want to hopefully uh, encourage people to do this that are watching this video. At a live church, we see streaming as more than just, okay, we're going to stream our services on the weekend and done deal. We actually have a bigger vision for it. And so when I say take ownership of it, uh, one of my responsibilities was, up until recently, I actually oversaw the whole audio-video team, and they were under my hat, so to speak, of authority. Mm -hmm. I, I was there to help not only be, for, be there available for them in a pastor sense, but also help uh, implement vision, what we're trying to do with this whole ministry, audio video ministry, uh, digital missions is what we're calling it, which I'll get into it here in a moment. But, but also take, you know, I'm taking responsibility for our streaming, but, uh, but more, more than just our streaming, our archives and things that we have plans for the future. That's what I was doing. Now I'm still the church online pastor, though we've shuffled some things around here, uh, mainly because I just don't have the time to manage streaming church TV and manage a live right. church's problems. So, <laughs> one of the things I think that I mean, just being a part of being a part of here, and and taking ownership and kind of setting this thing apart, it's it's um, it's a little bit subtle, but it's um, it's the fact that I mean, this is another ministry. We treat this like another campus. Like we'll we'll, we'll do uh, we'll track attendance, and mm -hmm. so. They'll track attendance at the, the gathering here, and they'll track attendance at what's going on online. Absolutely. Um, they'll make sure that, that you know, it's, it's really treated like another campus. When, we, when we're looking at, um, you know, contributions, we'll say, well, what, you know, what came from this campus? Well, what came from the web campus? And so it's really set apart as its own ministry. And so those that attend that, that campus or that ministry, mm -hmm. they're, 
you know, they need to be shepherded right. by web pastors. So, yeah. so, it, so it's really, it's, you know, some of the churches look at it like, oh, I'm, I'm broadcasting my services. And, you know, it's just this other thing I do. Kind of a side deal. Yeah, kind of a side deal. Like, yeah. oh, I'm broadcasting this out into the foyer, you know, in my mm-hmm. overflow room or something. Right. And it, for us, it, it's much more than, you know, just another thing we do. It's, it's really treated like a separate ministry. Absolutely. And, uh, and by the way, there's nothing wrong with, you know, putting up a camera and streaming it to your, to your foyer or to your lobby or to uh, uh, different areas of your church. Uh, but what Steve is saying here is we're, we're really trying to take it to the next level here at, at my local church. And we have customers that are, that are doing that with streaming church TV. Uh, but let me just explain a little bit about people ask me, what is digital missions? Uh, are you on the mission field and you're whatever? Mm-hmm. Well, I understand it's a little confusing maybe, but our plan at a live church is, is as I said at the beginning, to take this above and beyond just doing our weekend services or even a midweek service, which we don't do a midweek. Uh, we would like to actually target communities here in Arizona eventually. We're not doing it right now, but eventually target some communities, specific communities that don't have a church like a live church. And, you know, I think I'm a, I'm a big believer that you can have multiple churches in your community, you know, doing some of them have a different emphasis. Some of them have different the, the, the leadership team in different churches have different uh, uh, giftings and different emphasis uh, on and, and even there's going to be a little different doctrine at times so what we're looking at a live church in the long run is to uh, target some communities in in the Arizona area right now and and, and beyond that eventually where we will uh, bring them bring people via the avenue of streaming live bring a live church into a community maybe just somebody's home that's large enough to have 10 or 15 or 20 people, uh, or maybe it's a, a, even another facility, where we bring the message that a live church brings, the emphasis we bring, the teaching style that we bring, the music style. We're going to bring that to different communities uh, in, in Arizona and, and, and beyond Arizona. So part of what we see the church online pastor, web pastor, doing down the roadways is really spearheading that that vision spearheading that project so yes as you said earlier uh it's definitely important to uh to 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 take care of the people that are watching online uh and and to to not just greet them although that's very important and we probably ought to cover that a little bit again because uh, it's important to greet people when they come online it's important to be available to them for prayer to answer questions uh, to uh, point people with different links, you can you can easily put links on our streamingchurch.tv platform. You know, so uh, I'm trying to give you the bigger picture of what we are doing with a web pastor. So, um, I guess uh, next thing we get into is is why, and kind of what is the, you know, what's mm-hmm. what's the cost for doing this, and um, what's the results and the fruits of it. You know, right. why why should I why should I just? Why should I pursue creating, having a web pastor, and making mm-hmm. sure that role is mm-hmm. um, a vibrant role? Because I mean, there is an investment, right? There is it's, an it's investment. It's not going to come for free. There is an investment. Uh, there is an investment of money as well as time. And uh, I honestly think that once you get things set up in your streaming, the financial investment is really, I don't think, that large in comparison, maybe to to putting some energy and time into it. So why should you do this? Well, if you're a church and you don't really care about touching people or care about reaching people, uh, other than just whoever shows up at your doors, then this is probably not what you want to do. But most of our customers and and people that are streaming other places uh, feel like there's a bigger world out there, there's a bigger picture than just mm-hmm. just their their own little church facility. So at a live church, we, again, we feel like we have a message of hope, of love. Of course, most churches feel like they have a specific message, and that's good. So get it out there. If you really believe in what you're doing, streaming is a, it's an awesome tool to, to use that, and the cost is really, uh, really very minimal. I mean, for the most part, if you're streaming just to computers, uh, and I'll clarify that in a moment, but if you're streaming just to 
just a laptop computers or people that monitors that have you know 15 inch monitors you can stream it around 200 to 300 kilobytes per second it's only going to cost about 13 cents a viewer hour uh, now if you're going to stream to a bigger screen then you're obviously going to want to have uh, your uploads going to be a little more and your cost is going to be a little more but still i mean what's it going to what's the cost going up to 30 40 cents a viewer hour maybe mm -hmm. maybe a little more that is very reasonable <laughs> compared to what it would take to start another church somewhere. Right. <laughs> uh, I was just talking to one of our customers on the phone uh, just a couple weeks ago, and uh, actually they just did a 30-day trial. They're, just, they're in the middle of a 30-day trial, and they said, we figured that if we we're going to start another campus somewhere, another church like what we're doing, it's going to cost us anywhere between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars and $300,000. Uh, to do that, mm -hmm. and that would that would make sense because at a live yeah. church we did something similar. Uh, well, that's at least that. No, that was probably on the low end. Especially that was a low end, yeah. yeah. So two, three hundred thousand uh, dollars to try to do something, and then plus you're not you're not just talking about uh, you, you want to you got to find somebody to really oversee that. You got to pay them, facilities, all that stuff. So streaming is is actually doing multiple campuses is so much more reasonable. And plus, you have a lot more, how can I say this in a nice way? Control, control is probably a dirty word, but you have a lot more ability to regulate it and to keep it within the boundaries of the vision of your church. Uh, does that make sense what I'm saying? I think so. I mean, so uh, you know, every church you has a vision. You steer the thing where you want it. And right. Every church has a vision and purpose, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. And that's, again, that's you have different churches out there with different vision, different purpose. If you're streaming and you're doing a, a campus, satellite campus, so to speak, whatever you want to call it, the terminology is different, uh, you have a little bit more ability to, you know, get what your, your brand out there, your message out there, your vision out there. So... In um, putting together a web pastor position, is it, I mean, is it something I'm going to um, go through and, and, and recruit and interview and kind of like doing a pastor selection? Is it a paid position? Is it a volunteer position? Um, what, uh, tell me some more well, about th that whole arena. This, what's, this is what scares off some churches. Uh, well, I'm going to have to hire somebody and we can't do that. Uh, honestly, I would consider looking from within your church at first, because hopefully those people that are faithfully attending your church, uh, maybe involved already in leadership to some capacity, they hopefully embrace your DNA of your church, mm -hmm. your vision, uh, your what you're trying to do. They have a good understanding of it. So I would first start within, look within. I'm not saying you have to do that, but an option would be to look within your church, even if you have a small congregation. You know, who's taking some responsibility and who has a heart? And, and giftings are important. Right depending on where you're going with this. Now, you know, like it, I just laid out what Alive's doing. It's, it's a pretty big vision, and it, you're going to have to have somebody with yeah. some giftings. And something we, we talked about um, before is you kind of set the vision for the church, and that attracts people that, that you know, buy into that same vision. Right. And so, you know, if you're streaming at all, that means you've, you've got some vision towards right. the streaming. So that's Right. You know, it's naturally going to attract some people. You know, I use the example that um, actually when Jeff, the senior pastor here, just started, he was the worship um, mm -hmm. leader. Mm -hmm. And the church just naturally attracted musicians. Right. And, and, the, and that, that, you know, the vision was to be excellent in the, in the worship. Mm -hmm. And so the musicians were attracted to it. We were already, you know, doing a really good job and that attracted other musicians. Mm -hmm. And... So it created a lot of opportunity right. that was for people that are within the congregation that kind of bought into the vision. So right. I would assume that if I'm, you know, my church is streaming and I'm, I'm serious about, you know, reaching out and using all the tools that are available, available to me in, today, that um, that vision would be communicated with the congregation. And there'd be people that say, oh, you know, one of the reasons I'm here was because I'm very interested in using technology to reach yeah. people. Hopefully, and, that's the case. Yes, yeah. and so yeah. then you've you know you've got uh, you know you would have a natural pool of people you would think within your congregation that would be interested yeah. in stepping up and. Um, well, you bring up a good point, and that is communicating the vision of your church and communicating uh, specific areas of ministry in your church. So that's very important, and I think uh, you know unfortunately uh, again there are churches that stream and it's just an afterthought. 
But uh, I want to, one of the reasons we're doing this program is, is, is to really encourage you to, to make it more than just an afterthought. Maybe you have to take some small steps. I mean, I just laid out a huge deal. We're going to reach this area in Arizona and go out. And, but you don't have to start that way. You can start with, okay, you're streaming to your local area here. I mean, obviously people all over the world can see you, but you're, you're focusing on putting together a good presentation for your streaming. So in other words, uh, you know, you're going to... Uh, Make sure your camera work is good. You got to have people that are greeting people online, uh, that are have some understanding of your church. Mm -hmm. And then again, as a web pastor, church online pastor, whatever you, term you want to call it, uh, it needs to be somebody that wants to take some ownership here and has some qualifications in the sense that they're spiritually mature enough to deal with some situations, uh, and then also uh, be able to take care of people to some degree or at least point them in the right direction, and then from there uh, have an idea of, of maybe taking it to the next level, whatever that might be. Uh, one of the things we started doing at Alive a while back was uh, we actually set up a different switcher and a whole different camera in a different room in the church, and we actually do breakaways. So we're streaming our service live, people up here on doing worship on the stage here on the platform, uh, after the worship, we have a fellow, one of our leaders usually gets up and makes announcements. Uh, we break away from that at a live church, and we go right to the campus pastor or web pastor. And that person, uh, in this case, it's usually me, is specifically talking to people online and specifically tailoring my messages or my announcements, so to speak, mm -hmm. to the people watching online. When that is over with, we go back to the auditorium with a switcher, go back to the auditorium, and we catch our senior pastor as he starts his message, does his deal, and, and, and as we've said here before, Jeff is very good at addressing the online crowd as well as, as, as he's addressing the people in the auditorium here. Mm -hmm. It's very key that he reminds people that, hey, we're streaming, and also the people watching online, he addresses questions to them or comments specifically to them. And then after, when he's done, he turns it over to uh, another f person wrapping it up here, but we switch over to me or whoever it is, and I wrap it up. Mm -hmm. And again, what that's doing is, is is connecting with other people online. So they're not just viewing, but they're actually getting drawn in. And I'm actually asking them to make commitments or make decisions. And and again, that's one level that you can go with uh, to take your streaming at your church to a different place. You could do something like that, getting a switcher, getting an extra camera. Mm -hmm. It's not too hard to do. Yeah. So uh, if I'm the, you know, the, the, the average church out there, and um, you know, often we get the, um, the comment that, gee, I don't have anybody that, that can, can play in that role. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what advice do you have to them to, you know, what, what would you say to those guys? I would say if I was a senior pastor, and at one point I was for about eight years at a church, I would continue to get the vision out there. So I would tell, on the other end, I would say senior pastor, lead teacher, whatever your leaders are, not just the pastor, but the leaders in your church, I would say, you know what, you need to communicate your desires. Hey, we're a church, we want to stream, we want to do this with our streaming platform. Uh, and I would constantly get that out there in... Your bulletins, doesn't have to be a huge write-up, but just something saying, hey, we are, here's what our vision is for this, maybe mm -hmm. two, two lines or three lines. And then having the senior pastor occasionally get up and, and tie it into his message. Uh, if you're teaching the scriptures, the Bible talks a lot about, you know, vision and, and having a purpose for your life and, and, and a purpose for the church. So I would always tie those things in. Uh, when I helped start a church back in Kansas, we had no help. We had four families. We needed help in lots of areas. That was before streaming. Mm -hmm. But we did need help in running sound and, 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 and doing a podcast. And I literally just got it out there, and I communicated it on a regular basis in a tactful way. I didn't spend my whole sermon say, talking hey, about it. I have it. this vision for making sure I got a, a podcast done every week. Or well, yeah, whatever. I would talk about folks. And then when we actually were doing a radio show, I would, I would address people on the radio, even though it wasn't live. I would say, you know, would have, whoever's listening to this right now, and I know there's people listening on the radio, I would plant little seeds, and there would be people sitting in the congregation going, oh, we're on radio. Okay, didn't know that. 
Hmm. And then I, I actually had somebody step up and say, oh, you need some help in recording a program. And, and so mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a long-term commitment, and it's a, it's a process. But communicating what your purpose and vision is for your church, whatever that might be. Hopefully, we're streaming church TV, so we want you to stream. <laughs> but whatever that purpose is for your church. Uh, getting it out there on a regular basis, and then you know, hopefully you have some kind of leadership meetings occasionally. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. you have a little bit of thought and planning on what you're going to do for the for the year. So you are constantly communicating that. And so you may not, you know, when we're talking about why should you need a web pastor? Well, uh, maybe you should start with just a web host. Uh, somebody's on our platform right now, Don Young. I mentioned you earlier, Don. I don't know if you if you were here, but I mentioned what a great gift you are to us, uh, able to be able to monitor and 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 Monitor is kind of a bad word, well, but, but greet like, people yeah, and, naming, you know, <laughs> be a like part. It's calling our uh, greeters security officials or something. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and they're not, you know. Uh, and we we don't hardly ever have any issues. That's another thing I get sometimes is, well, if we do chat, you know, what if somebody gets on there and starts talking bad about us? Well, you can always block them. That's easy to do. But most of the time that doesn't happen. I mean, it might happen occasionally to somebody. I don't yeah, think it's ever happened yeah, to us. Yeah, it's very seldom. But, but uh, I mean, you can always block them. And, and, and uh, I've found, too, that other people online tend to... Tend people to, that, I mean, it's, there, there's, um, it's not like um, you start streaming and then there's going to be people who go, oh, let's go harass these guys. People, people need to find you, just like coming to church. They need right. to seek you out, find out where you are, when your services are... Are held and they'll come, you know, they'll come to your services, and it's probably as likely as maybe you'll, as someone coming into your service and disrupting your service or, or causing mm -hmm. you know trouble within your service. Rare, very rare. Very, very rare. rare. Right. And again, it's much easier online. I mean, if you have somebody walk into your physical service and start causing a problem, that's a little bit of a issue because now you got to find somebody to get rid of the person or do something. Or, you know, yes, tactfully. Tact, you know, without hopefully just, you know, if somebody's giving you a problem online, all you have to do is go, okay, goodbye, click, and they're done. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, that's There easy. was, um, <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned to you, but there was quite a while ago, um, Jeff, the senior pastor here, planted uh, an obnoxious uh, guest. In planted our an obnoxious guest. Yes, okay. he did. It was uh, um, actually a relative of his from out of town, so right. nobody knew the guy. He's actually a pastor. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. a pastor of another church, yeah. yes. Yeah. And uh, Jeff town. asked a question, and this guy started <laughs> raising his hand and arguing with Jeff, and the congregation was going, what is going? It, was, um, it almost got a little testy, but then they kind of let everybody know what was going on well but, and we didn't let some of our key leaders know about they it didn't, they didn't, <laughs> so not, they're like right as key leaders are sitting there go okay i'm a leader in this church what do i do should i yeah. run over and you know mug this guy yeah. or whatever well uh, uh spencer elliott who plays drums yeah. here was uh was flaring behind the guy he stood up yeah. and he was and, and spencer <laughs> has a black belt too by the way yes karate. he does i would not so, want to mess with so him. jeff had to let people know what was going yeah. on before spencer yeah. had his way with our yeah. uh, planted guests. I, I did that something was like disrupting that. the service. Yeah, I did something like that one time myself in Kansas. It's, it's a lot of fun, but but it, it'll scare people in the congregation. But uh, <laughs> Don, Don Young is on our platform here, and he just said that uh, we have had non-believers on watching the service. He's saying, and they have been very respectful, and that's true. I mean, for the most part, you know, yeah, people, most people are pretty people, reasonable, right? They yeah. recognize that yeah. it's it's live chat and. You know, most of the time, you know, a majority, a lot of people log in through their Facebook accounts. So right. you've got not complete anonymity. You see sure. you know, the picture of the people and, and that right. sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, and, and, you know, talking again about a web pastor and vision and stuff, one of the things we have at Alive is we have an online life group as well. In fact, Don is now overseeing that uh, this semester, and I've overseen it before. And, and so, uh, again, as you know, when we're talking about should you have a web pastor at your church, number one, you should have a web host or at least somebody who's, who's there to greet people. It's very important. But uh, the web pastor thing, you know, should that person be paid or not? Uh, again, it depends on your church and depends on, on, uh, on you know, the vision for it. And, and you could have a web pastor who's possibly doing stuff during the week that's paid to do other things, you know, during the, in the church during the week. And then on the weekends, they, they really make sure that, you know, uh, they're tied in with the, the online broadcast. So it really depends on your vision and your budget. Right. But I and think, you know, are we going to dif differentiate between a web pastor and a web host? Uh, maybe uh, in a sense that, you know, again, the web pastor is really going to take ownership 
and really going to try to get it to the next level. Right. And that's, and, uh, that's, I think, one of the things that really distinguishes us. You mentioned it earlier on, but um, we really see this as a ministry platform. And it's, it's much more than right. just, um, you know, just I'm streaming. A lot of people, that, you know, the assumption off the street is, oh, I'm making it available to my shut-ins so they can participate in my service. And a lot of people, um, you know, they go there with that and think, oh, you know, this is a great, nice mm -hmm. thing. And it is good. Yeah, and it is good, and that, that is a valid use. But um, there is um, such ministry potential and potential to grow your church. Um, we've got yes. a large percentage of the people that um, participate here that, that came online and came, came back online because they were greeted and they were prayed with and you know, their needs were met online mm -hmm. um, before they eventually you know, came right. to the service. And that's, that's kind of the, that vision is not well, um, not broadly understood. Articulated well. Yeah. yeah. So we, yeah. I mean, that's kind of been our focus is to try to get um, yeah. churches to the point where they say, this is, you know, there's churches, you know, Life Church began as an online church, right? That was. Well, yeah. I mean, that's where they really grew. Right. You know? Uh, and, and yeah, and, and the key, and the key, the churches that are doing it well are the ones that are streaming well. They, they, you know, they, they have a, a, a good, a good picture. Either they use one camera or two or three or five cameras. That you know, they, they, they've, they've done what, whatever they've got. They're, they're doing it well. Mm -hmm. So, and, and you can start small, but if you're going to start small, that's great. In fact, we encourage you to start small, but just do it well. Take some responsibility. You know, make sure your audio is good. Make sure your camera work is good. Uh, make sure that you're greeting people and you're taking care of people online. Uh, you know, it's, it's just a principle, you know, uh, whatever you do, do it with all your heart, do it well. And I believe God causes growth when you do that. I think things happen and, and, and you are a testimony of that at a live church. Lots of churches that are streaming today can tell you that started small and now they're bigger than they were before because they took it seriously and they gave it some thought. So Anyhow. All right. Well, we're about out of time. We are. Anything else you can add? Well, just, uh, you know, uh, we are here to help you every step of the way. If you're thinking about streaming or even if you're streaming now and uh, maybe you're with us, maybe you're with somebody else, uh, we can, we'll, we'll be glad to help you answer any questions and maybe bring some suggestions. Uh, we certainly have got some experience doing this now for a number of years. Uh, support at streamingchurch.tv is our email. Support at streamingchurch.tv. And uh, we're always available. Just go to our website, streamingchurch.tv. And one of the things that sets us apart from a lot of companies out there is that uh, we, lo we work exclusively with ministries and churches, and we're available. Uh, you're going to get a timely response from us, really. I mean, you're not going to have to wait a week or so for an answer. Hopefully you won't. I mean, if, the, if you did, something went wrong. But we're, you're going to get a return phone call very quickly if you don't get us the first time, and you're going to return email very quickly and we're available on the weekends so uh, even though we do work with our churches we're available with phones and computers so yeah. if we can help you in any way that's what we're here for and uh, we believe in the ministry and the vision of streaming your services and streaming what you're doing so there you have it all right all right steve thank you very much steve lacy with us here president and founder of streaming church tv i'm phil thompson and on behalf of all of us here at, at uh, streaming church tv thank you have a great weekend and uh, happy